So the, the one thing about the, the characters from 3.0 that I'm looking for the most is um, the Traveler Kit, okay? And if I have to imagine the Traveler Kit, uh, also taking into consideration the, what we saw from the, from the teaser of the Enter Reaction, the official teaser from the, of the Enter Reaction, I think that it will be something like, okay, with the skill, okay, you, you, you apply the Enter. My, my dream is that the skill has um, a top and a hold version. If you hold, you basically do an AoE around you, Instead, if you tap, it's like, it's like a cone in front of yourself, like with Kaya, for example. Then, with the burst, of course, you, you activate the burst, and then you deploy this, this flower meter with a big LE around you, around itself. And it works similar to Lisa's burst. So it ticks, hits in the opponent, hits in the enemies, and then if you infuse the, the, the flower with the, with the particular element, it does something else. But apart from doing something else, I also hope like it would be very, very cool if, like, as a passive, for example, the bus says that uh, when, the when a character is infuses the flower with a specific element, that character gains X amount of uh, elemental mastery. Of all the party members with the, the same elements of the one that apply the element on the flower gets get X amount of elemental mastery. That would be absurd, in my opinion. And uh, if I have to guess, the um, let's say the traveler's uh, burst just apply the draw field, it lasts a little bit like Lisa's burst, and then it does Dendro uh, damage over time. It can be infused with uh, with various elements, of course, but it just has a different effect. Like it doesn't give anything to the to the character that infused the flower uh, with the, the particular element. Maybe this is what will Kusanali do, because uh, we know that because we know that uh, the traveler has a very similar kit to the to the, Dendro, to, the to the corresponding icon of the same element. So I think that Kusanali will basically do the same thing. Will deploy this uh, maybe a tree instead of a flower that does heavy Dendro damage. Maybe buffs the character with the same element of the ones that infuses the tree with the with the particular element, and has different effects depending on which element you apply on the on the tree. It would be very cool, like a sort of uh, Bennett but Dendro without the healing. I mean, one of the effects can be can be healing. Like for example, if you apply Hydro to the to the tree, the tree also starts healing, and we would see if we really did something like this. At this point, we would have we would be in front of an Archon that, just like Raiden, does a lot of things by itself. A very strong Archon. And I think that at this point, after Benti and, and Zhongli, which covers their niche, uh, their corresponding element niche, so Animo, the main thing about Animo is sucking, is uh, CC, crowd control, and the main thing about Geo is defense, so shield in this case, and constructs. I think that, apart from those two elements that don't have particular reaction, a lot of different reaction. They just have one reaction with all the other elements, so we have then crystallized. From the from Raiden, that has uh, that is um, a dynamic element. Okay, let's call it this way. Um, I think from Raiden onward, all the dangers will, all the all the archons will have this kind of kits uh, that do a lot of different things. And I'm pretty sure that the archon will do a lot of stuff just like Raiden does. And for this reason, it will be very very strong. In fact, like right now, I have 10 PD and 150 wishes. And when Kusanali will come out, and when Kusanali comes out, I think it will be between 3.1 and 3.2, just like Raiden, and Zhongli, and Venti. <laughs> um, it depends on the story, but usually it's around 3.1 or 3.2. And I know that I also want Baizu and a Lighton, but and in the future I would like also to build a Golf Lightning to to give and give it to to Raiden because she deserves it. She says, "I go feel lightning is a broken weapon." So I would like to. I would probably like have enough prima gems to or wishes in general to afford another guaranteed five star. I hope I will have enough wishes to to pull also for another guaranteed five star. And if I have, because of course we have to explore it, the Golden Empire Archipelago and the um, and Sumeru. So we will have a lot of a lot of new incomes of uh, new sources of income you know, of prima gems, right? Not just events and dailies. Oh my God, extra charge broken. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we will probably have a lot of in a lot of sources of income for uh, different kind of uh, for premium gems. So uh, that's another reason why I think that um, I will have enough wishes to pull for something else, and still have enough when base when Allied and will come out. And I have C to Raiden. If I really like Kusanali and if she's really strong, I may think about pulling also for her constellation or maybe her weapon. It depends. But if she's very very strong like Raiden, and I think she will, I will probably gamble a little bit on, on a funny because like right in c2 or even c3 it gets massive in my opinion right right in c2 right in c3 for sure but 
it's debatable also for right and C2. It's one of the best uh, main DPS of the game. She does a fuck ton of damage, but she also recharges the whole team. <laughs> and that's the craziest shit I've ever saw, I've ever seen. Like if you see a, if you see the other, you may right and is a main DPS, okay? It's not a support. You can play her as a support, but you lose her main, you lose her main ability. Well, not the main ability, but one of her niches, which is doing damage, a lot of damage. But yeah, mm, so, like, getting Constellation on on the Dendrarchon, if the Dendrarchon will be as at least as good as the Raiden, I think that it will be massive, really, really massive. And it's an investment that I'm available to, uh, to do, to be honest. But it will depend. I will for sure pull for the Dendrarchon and then I will be happy as, as it, uh, it is. But then uh, I will wait for Tyr Crafter and myself to play it a little bit, to play around with Kusanali a little bit and see if I like her and how much, <laughs> how much damage she does or how much DDT she brings to the party, the teams she can be used because also like flexibility is a very important aspect of uh, Genshin Impact characters, especially if they are Dendro, uh, if, sorry, <laughs> if they are Archons. Like the more rest, uh, the more flexible are the characters, the more likely it is that they will last for a long time in the Genshin Impact quote unquote meta, right? And that's something I want for all the that I want to be true for all the all the Archons, or at least most of them. In fact, that's why I think that, for example, Venti and Jun Li are starting to fall off because, like, they are uh, they they are the Archons of elements that have only one elemental reaction. They only react. Uh, they only have elemental reaction, even though they react with all the enemies. They only have crystallized or swirl. Don't get me wrong, swirl is broken, of course. But um, you still don't have a lot of options. Instead, like Jun Li does that and only that, and uh, Venti does sucking and only sucking. I mean, okay, it does real and uh, defense shred thanks to VV, but even Archive Petra can sh shred defenses because you, uh, because it, how it works, but you still need to pick up the uh, the, the, the crystallized shield, right? So it's a bit, it's a bit gimmicky. In fact, if they, if they only fix Archive Petra or buffed it, I think that Geo will be very, very good again. I mean, not as good as all the elements, but at least it will be a little bit better. But yeah, aside from that, that's a different topic uh, by itself. Um, the other elements, they will all be for sure more flexible. Like Luca Raiden, she has damage, she has energy charge, and she has very good elemental reaction because she not, not only has electro can be will. You have electro charge, which, which is probably the most, the second most broken elemental reaction in the game because like the whole point of elemental reaction is to take a little bit of elemental aura from the other element, but with electro charge you generate some energy uh, with a with a short cooldown, and you maintain both hydro and electro aura on the enemy, so you can you 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 set up yourself for in doing other elemental reaction with chain reactions, like what they're called chain reactions. So you can do other vape with Raiden, for example. And, uh, and then you have Dendro, right? And Dendro looks like <laughs> he will have a fuck ton of then a uh, fuck ton of reaction with all the elements. And then like Pyro and same thing with Hydro and Cryo maybe a little bit less. But yeah, so see that's what I'm saying. All the elements apart from then uh, apart from uh, Geo and Animo have a lot of options. And I think like the fact that the elements themselves themselves have a lot of option is uh, is a feature that will be mirrored by the Archon themselves, just like Raiden has damage, has utility, and uh, has a very power, a very high ceiling. Is a very high ceiling character. In fact, if you if you play a Raiden upper carry, she gets to an imaginable amount of uh, imaginable numbers of damage. Even though if you don't, even if you don't have the C2 or C3, right, uh, she still gets to do a lot of damage. So I think that uh, the Dendro Archon will be very very similar to. The Dendro Archon and also the other Archons, but especially the Dendro Archon because Dendro seems to be very, very reaction heavy and related to basically all other elements, or at least the main elements. So it will be very, in my opinion, it will be very strong, let's say, let's put it this way. <laughs>